Hey everybody, as most of you know, I am Jesse Dollimore and I'm usually a real critic of Donald Trump. Between hiring a white supremacist and he himself failing to disavow the support of the former Grand Wizard of the KKK, and, well, you see, <laughs> you see what I do? <laughs> That's what I don't want to do today. It's Christmas time, and things have really changed because of our new tangerine titan, Donald Trump. It's now perfectly acceptable to say Merry Christmas. Donald Trump has single-handedly won the war on Christmas, which is a good thing considering he dodged the draft five times in an effort to avoid an actual war. Yep, you see? <laughs> there I go again. Let's check out the celebration of his victory on the war on Christmas. Now, does the Christmas deal really matter? Since the war has basically been won, this is a cleanup operation. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, right? Merry Christmas. That's right. They reminded me. We're going to start saying Merry Christmas again. Which you can say again, Merry Christmas, because Donald Trump is now the president. You can say it again. It's okay to say. It's not a pejorative <laughs> word anymore. People are now saying Merry Christmas. I believe it has something to do with Donald Trump. We used to say Happy Holidays a lot under President Obama. He's still complaining about it. When was the Merry last Christmas time you heard a politician say that? I know. It's, I love it. Would Absolutely you? love it. You see? Big time. So, in honor of the war on Christmas officially being over, <laughs> what do I have here? Oh, I've got a little, got a little hat. Got a little Merry Christmas hat for you. And uh, a nice Christmas ribbon. <laughs> and I want to say Merry Christmas to all of you out there. Listen, Donald Trump, Corey Lewandowski, Bill O'Reilly, and your lapdog Jesse Waters, as well as the rest of the goofs over at Fox News. Number one, there never was a war on Christmas. Christmas has been a federal holiday in the United States since 1870. And as a matter of fact, according to an ABC poll, 83% of Americans identify themselves as Christian. Most of the rest of the 13%, they don't have any religion, and that just leaves 4% of adherence to all other non-Christian religions combined, which include Jews and Muslims and Buddhists and a smattering of other religions. And number two, the assertion that under President Obama, Merry Christmas couldn't be or wasn't said, that's just a claim made by liars. In fact, watch this very brief, very incomplete compilation of President of the United States, Barack Obama, not saying. Merry Christmas. Have a very Merry Christmas. We want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. A very, very Merry Christmas and a holiday filled with joy. I want to wish every American a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Bye. Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. So clearly, there wasn't a war. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year, or simply Good Day. Whatever you celebrate, enjoy your time with your loved ones this year. And thanks to all of you for your support of me here on YouTube my podcast, and everywhere else that you have to see my ugly mug or hear my dumb voice. I love you guys.